Nicodemus has been a standout roller in the Focus lineage. A man of charisma, passion, and love, he has seen it fit to not only provide many heirs for his lands, but to also commission an epic, one about the many storied wars and pivotal moments that have allowed the Focus to conquer so many lands. In a surprise move, claims were pressed in Greece, allowing the Focus family to instill their roots there as well. The battles happened with banal brutality, seeing thousands killed and new rulers in place. Of more import was a war against White Rus, with laws seeing fit to give northern foreigners our lands. With the complicated arrays of marriages seated through this area, this may happen again, but without much effort, they too were repelled. Senator, your dedication to the cause is commendable. Thanks to the support of this fine council and many others, we're able to continue on this epic saga. Once we discussed wars, feuds, and attempts to increase our holdings, now the tricky matter of inheritance takes up our forethoughts. Nicodemus loves his children, however varied they may be. We'll have to carefully see what might be the most prudent choice after today's chapter. Our Egyptian subjects saw it fit to render a sculpture of the late Sola, one to revere and honor his many hunts. To restore is not the intention of the house, but to use it as a model. To exceed what one great person did like Alexander would only add to our prestige. The Basilius may be more ingrained to the notion of restoring the old empire, but our efforts seem to be set on maintaining the church in the east for now. In time, we'll see what else we'll reclaim. Welcome to the Senate. You're correct in saying that Egypt must be taken. Once we take entire kingdoms, we can move further to the east. It's a dream to control the Mediterranean and to extend our power so far. You know, a pilgrimage to Alexandria sounds like a good idea, one that we'll commit to in this story, and now we're off to begin that story. I've got to tell you, I would be pretty mad but also impressed if our patriarch here outlived me. He's 81! I can't believe he's so old. Now for me, I've been giving it a bit of thought. Naturally, these laws were in place to provide for each child. That way, they could make their own way in the world, they could rule over the lands that a father or mother put together for them. We have someone who's not cruel. He's generous, brave, honest, and, I mean, he's just really able to charm the pants off of anyone. When it comes to the sexual orientation of his wife, she does not favor men at all. She's a homosexual. But, despite that, they're about to have another child together. We're looking at four. We're about to have five children with only one wife, which is rather incredible. I would like to think that regardless of his own gender, he's so charming that everyone loves him. No one can hate that guy. It's nearly impossible. Even my foes respect me, which is incredible. What a legacy to have. And then I have my firstborn son, Alexios. And he could cause issues. He's a godless villain, for Christ's sake. That's incredible. Then he's got over here some traits that aren't that great. We're going to see how that plays out, though. He has many siblings. He has only one daughter right now. He has a wonderful wife. I would like to think the only thing holding him back would be his beautiful, kind wife over here. She's content. She's patient and humble. She's amazing and very well-read, too. I like her a lot. She's brilliant. Okay, we're going to expand now. We're here to take more lands than we've ever taken before. We'll keep on pushing because it's what I do. Perfect. Now, one person wanted to know why I did not build my university because Cairo needs one development score of 40, either greater or equal to 40. So let's have a look at Cairo right down over here. Currently, we're only at 17, so we need a lot more development to build that university, so I hope I answered your question now. Okay, I'm going to imprison you. And again, it's not about winning to me, it's about following the story. I have a family, I have an idea. If I had a family of cannibal nudists, then I would follow that story and it would be wrong and I probably wouldn't get a lot of land, but it would be funny. By the way, that would be annoying because I would have to censor every single breast that pops up, which is ridiculous to me because we can see beheadings in games and all that, but we can't see a nipple. Oh, God fears a nipple. Anyway, let me get back over here before I ran on. Now, it would be nice if people weren't so prudish about that, especially when you're playing a game that has incest and killing and kin slaying and just a bunch of craziness, man. It's only a nipple. All right. The only nipple that's hurt anyone is when it's icy cold and it's been cutting glass or something. Those are deadly weapons. 
Okay, we're now ready. We've got our champions. We're moving out. I no longer need to gather. We're going to divide up. Second army, you've got my onagers. Come on down. We'll wait for you to finish up your job. I can take everything from him. Egypt is going to be cut into three sections by the time I'm done. Then the Abbasids need to die, but I'll need a lot more piety. I'm very low on piety. I would like a very pious ruler next time. That way we can actually invade kingdoms. Let, let me show you what I mean real quick. Well, I'll show you later, but in order to invade a kingdom, you need to be, of course, over here, one paragon of virtue. It's a big one, man. It's a very big one. And that takes time. Like right now, I'm nearly 60. All right, let's come on down. Not over there, actually. Let's come down over here to their capital. Yeah, take that one. I want you to come on over to the west, and we'll do that. All right, here's my son. You could use some educator. Let's find... Ah, you. Beatrice. You're perfect. We'll do that for him. I've got so many children. Belisarius, you're all about what? You're charming, generous, and brave. Now, he's a good boy. I hate your hat, but he's a good boy. Ah, a good, a daughter. Thankfully, it's a daughter. Let's name her after Leon's wife, Anna. Perfect. That's my daughter. I have eight children total. Look at that. She's wheezing. That's unfortunate. There's a tiny penalty. We don't usually have defects like that in our line. A nephew taken prisoner. Ah, right over here, huh? Right over here in Cyprus, all because my brother, my half-brother, rebelled. That's only one family member causing issues. He won already. I mean, naturally he did. He was wounded. I hope not in that battle. That's weird. All right. So we're not done yet. Lovers, huh? Look at all of you causing issues. Again, I'm not worried about it. You do what you want. You're all grown people. Now, there could be someone who would use it against all of them. That's true. That could happen. I don't need to call anyone to war. We're quickly taking over another location. We're earning some coin. Just a little bit of coin right now. We've got some peasants who are trying to rise up against me. It happens. We've got to put those peasants into their place from time to time. All right, what's over here? Direct vassal opinion. We've got that, sure. We've got foreign affairs. I do like that for more prestige. I mean, we have a lot of renown coming up, too. I also want to have more despots in order to have more renown coming in. That would be great. All right, let's integrate another title like Antioch. I think integrating Antioch would be awesome. That'll take 21 years. So that's fine. We'll come over here and take promote culture. Let's go promote culture. Let's see. Over here in the Sinai Peninsula. And that should do it. I think that should do it. Let's keep on fighting now. We've got a few more battles to take on. I'm only losing a touch of coin. Not a lot of coin. Let's go after their capital. Do they have armies? Yeah, they've got like one little army over to the west. Good. You've converted more people. Let's keep on converting. We're not done converting yet. All right. Convert faith right over here. You're nearly done. Sure, they're angry with me for converting them, but it happens. Oh, Leon Focas, you died. You had lover's pox. That's unfortunate. I hope your kids don't have that. They seem to be fine. Yeah, they're okay. So now you're a ruler. You've got great intrigue. Very scary. Okay, let's continue on. We've got more fighting to do. There's a small army coming to fight me over here. I don't know what you were trying to do, but goodbye. That gave me some prestige and piety. I do like getting piety. Alright, so goodbye to all of you. Once we take their capital, it should all be over after that. There's no way they can stop me today. Oh, the Patriarch died. He died at 82 years of age. That's incredible. I wonder, who's our new Patriarch? Oh, he's a young man. Wait, hold on. You have no family. Interesting. You're Egyptian, too. That's fascinating. His learning is very good at 23. He's forgiving, callous, and craven. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Or lovers. Again, I don't really care. All of you have fun. Blind and a bit slow. That's sad. Lost a lot of your senses over there. All right, I have their capital. We're not done. Let's move again. I've got more to take. A county in need. Okay. Meticulous management. More popular opinion. I like that. Let's do that. I'm here to be kind to the people that I rule over. 
I do need people to like me more. Of course, when I wage offensive wars, that can cause issues. They'll get over it. They'll be okay. Yeah, there's a lot of kingdoms I can make, but I would need a lot more money than what I have right now. you think I would have more, but I've been fighting so many wars lately. No wonder I don't. It's actually understandable that I don't have more money. All right, I've taken that location. We are nearly done. Let's go. And it's over, right over here. That's all I needed. Plenty of money gained. The war is over. And again, to the benign Nicodemus. May you live in harmony and contentment. That's what I'm talking about. Everyone loves him. His foes are like, oh man, you didn't have to do that. You take what you want. Okay, so I'm going to give these lands over to someone who's pretty decent, I think. It's going to be a family member. I think I like that idea a lot, actually. So that's what we're going to do, just because, I mean... I don't want to rule over everything, nor can I. I can only have so many areas under my direct control. The Duchy of Al-Sayed. Let's create it. Done. I'm going to grant it to someone who's in my family. Ah, you! You're actually very good. I'll give it to you. Take your lands and enjoy. Look at that. 37. He's gluttonous, diligent, and trusting. Quick, comely, and over here, one eager reveler. He likes to party. He's also Midas Touched. Not bad, my friend. Not bad. If only he didn't have gluttonous, but we all have our bad parts of ourselves. Traits that we're not too proud of. Or maybe we are, and maybe we don't care. Alright, let's make money. I could let the rest of you go if I convert you. That could be interesting. Okay, Martha. You need someone to educate you. That's true. Alduin, no. It shall be you. You're very well read. She's ill currently. I hope she lives on. Yeah, you know what? Go for stewardship. I think that's a good idea. Someone needs to treat my child. Let's make some money now. Let's get everything together. Yeah, flee if you want. That's fine. So who's over here? Who are you? I'll let you go, but you've got to convert. You too. That'll be my new thing. If they're not willing to pay me, then I'll let them go, but they've got to take on my faith. I want to cause issues by doing that. Right, there's you. A fornicator. I'll take a hook, but get out. All of you get out. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need money from everyone. Alright, let's gain some money right now. I could create some kingdoms and just give them away to my kids. Of course, they're very young. So that's another issue is that they're very young too. They're not of age. That could cause issues. Let's see around here. Yeah, things are looking good. Things are looking really good in my lands. We've got our secrets. Disrupt schemes if you would like to. There's not too many secrets for me to find out right now. I could go to war again. I wonder, could I get to Paragon of Virtue before I die? I don't really know. Maybe. All right, what's over here? Domain limit up. Organized muster rolls. We'll take that. Then my popular opinion shall go up. I'll be even more beloved than I was before. I didn't even know that was possible. See, here we can make another kingdom. It wouldn't take me too long. I could spend four years just making kingdoms, just earning money and making kingdoms all over. But there is another location I want to take. So you've been imprisoned. Good luck to you. You've got many kids as well. My family is so big, I'm worried about what my timeline is going to look like later. <laughs> what it's all going to look like. Let's see. You are not a family member. Nor are you. But you're only a Praetor. You know what? I'm going to push your claim. Laurentios. Alright. I want everyone over here. Let's raise it up. And see what we can do. I want, let's say, like 5,000. Or 6,000 men. That's fine. Just to ensure no one's going to come bother me. We're heading over here at four speed because I don't have much to take. He's probably going to call in some allies. Yeah, a few allies. Not really much of an issue. They're not going to really challenge me in any type of meaningful regard. They're just going to lose and die in a war. I don't need to call in anyone. Yeah, we're fine. We're okay. And there we are. We've got some land today. The war is over. I've been meaning to take Crete for many, many years. Now I've done it. Look at what I have now. Even more lands under my command. Let's see, what else can I take internally? So you belong to me directly. What about you? Your lands... Ah, never mind. You have your own lands, which is really interesting. 
2,500, yeah. She rules over her own lands. So she married in over here. You've got all of your female siblings. One died. Oh, what did she die of? Heart failure at 39. Well, that's terrible. Hold on now. You were married to him. He was a king. And now your daughter is also married. Okay. Yeah, your family's doing fine. I'm kidding. They're doing poorly up there. White Rust is not going to last forever. Novgorod. Oh, you've lost so much? Holy crap, you're only three. What happened? What happened to your father? Did he die of wounds? Oh, gout. See, like things could be much worse. My only issue is that my family's doing so well. That's my problem. Everyone else, I mean, they're having horrible situations crop up. All right, what's happening over here? I do not have any type of reason to go to war against him. Fair and fine. What about you? You're a family member. Okay, so you're a baron and you're also a family member. That's a cousin. Let's go. I'm here to take over lands. I told you. We're going to take all that we can to ensure that we have dominance here. Of course, some of it will go back to our leader because, you know, we have an emperor, but I'm doing what I can now. Let's gather all these soldiers and go in. We don't need the entire army. That won't take too much money. What now? She's trying to win my heart. Now, she's a genius. I could see that our ruler might be attracted to her because of that. Yeah, we could try that out. I'm getting older now. He might be attracted to her intellect, something that his own wife lacks. She's a good woman, a good mother, but again, he's able to talk to this new woman who's quite intelligent. All right, cool. Let's go back and convert another culture right over here, the east, like in Aleppo. That looks good to me. We're about to get more control. It's taking time, but we're working on it. All right. Let's take what we can right down over here. We've got one war going on. And after I take it over, I wonder how much more I'm going to need to take. Hopefully not too much. I think we'll be all right. We'll be able to chase that army of 1500. I'm trying to avoid killing you know, good soldiers over here who do not serve me right now, but they're just serving their own leader currently. Oh, look at that. A daughter. She's part of my family, too. It would be pretty crazy if at some point every single noble in the empire was part of my family. That would be wild. Just absolutely crazy. Come on, catch him. I'm sorry, but you've got to go. <gasps> Polycarpos, no! Not Polycarpos! All right, so you killed someone. We won. It's over. I can't believe you were maimed after all this time. Polycarpo served me for many, many years, and he's always been a good ruler, too. He's a great guy, and I like him a lot. Let's have a look over here. Let's see who we have. Ah, there you are, my friend. You've got one child, Laurentios. Oh, he's actually a master hunter. Look at that. Taken after his old man. He's married to my niece, too. So our families are bound. Oh, rest well, my friend. I hope they treat him, but he's a drunkard, too. No wonder. I think he got sloppy in his old age. All the drinking. All right, so look at that. I now have more lands. We're not done yet, though. Can't go after you, correct? All right, who else do we have? We've got your lands over here. All right, no claims I want currently. What about what you have? Right, that's my cousin, so we can't go after that either. Look at you with all of your power. I would love to go after Cyprus just to put it back under my rule, but we have some alliance, so I can't do that. If only we didn't, then I would be happier. So much happier. I'm currently 57. What else do we have? What else can I take? That would be easy to take currently. Well, let me have a look. Paragon of Virtue, that might take a long time. Let's go over here and take more lands. Let's take a duchy. Again, I was told many, many times that they want me to, of course, increase the width of my lands down over here. They want me to conquer more of Syria. So I am going to do that. I wonder if I could take one of your titles. Let's see. Ah, I see. You're fighting a war. 
But that would be great to keep my money up and to take his entire title. Egypt would be mine, completely mine. And I like that idea a lot. But anyway, let's go to war. How much do you have? 9,600? Not bad. It's not too bad. But I also need more piety too, so we need to go make a decision. I could commission an, another epic. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go on a pilgrimage instead. I've got the time and money. Let's go to... Let's see over here. Alexandria. 390 gold. That is a lot of gold. But we're going. It's about time for me to do that, just so that we can honor God. A rude story about me? Oh, I don't really care. Give me the free stress. If it was my son, he would have them all whipped. But, again, I'm not one to do that. I'm here to be calm and kind. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting battle. Thankfully, I think you'll make it. Unfortunately, my champion is not going to make it. Dear God, you two had a lot of children. They don't really have titles either. All right, let's have a look now at Polycarpos. He's dying currently, my poor friend. He fought well. His son is not a bad warrior either at 20 prowess, and he's a master hunter as well. That's really good. Proud of him for them. All right, let's see. I can get some gold. I went over, of course, Alexandria and all is well. That gave me a lot of piety. Sure, we can be allies. I gave a bit of land to him. He's a baron now. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you, Patriarch. And now I'm back home. So now we have more piety to use. I was able to get more money as well. Yeah, see, he's my nephew. So I gave him one little title. And we can go to war now if we want to. And I do want to. I've been trying to push towards that. Because I want to weaken our dire foe. Oh, 4,248 men. Let's raise it all up right now. I'm gonna call in one ally only for now. Yeah, right over here. Hey, brother, why don't you come fight in a war? Regain your honor or something, I don't know. All right, there we go. My army is moving together. Here's my marshal again, 43. He's a tough guy, man. He's a very tough guy. He knows how to fight. All right, so he's moving in. Look at his little army, three champions too. A claim of convenience. Interesting. So, I could help you. Come join my court. Who knows what I might do for you? Your wife died. What a shame. I'll find you someone new. You can marry her. She's Ethiopian, and I'm also going to convert you. Perfect. All is well. You've done the right thing, pal. All right, we've got all of our soldiers here. I would love to go fight them all. Let's try that out. 10,000 men total. Oh, you're in trouble now. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We'll go down to two speed. The Battle of Anjar. We outnumbered them. We can beat them. Okay. You wounded the enemy commander. Nice. But Wanako is wounded too. Hopefully not maimed. He does not need to be maimed, my poor friend. Oh no! Another champion dead. There's a Karapanos too. But Wahab, he killed someone. That was a bloody affair. It went okay. We lost, what, 352? They lost 1,678. It was not a slaughter. That gave me more piety and also more prestige as well. My champions killed 359. Let's see. Ottawin, you killed 37. Wanako, 40. Leon, you killed quite a few too. Well, that was a shame, though. My brother-in-law died. You were married to my sister. They had seven kids together. Mother of God, that is a lot of kids. That's incredible. You shouldn't have been fighting anyway. I mean, he was a great warrior, but come on. Way too old for that. You died well, my brother-in-law. You died very well. Okay, so we need to watch out for their big army. I'm not going to go besiege everything yet. I think what I'll do, I'll probably dispatch a small little army to quietly take their lands while I wait for their bigger force to come towards me. I feel like that's what I should do. We'll go up to three speed. That was a major win for me. Onagers over here. I'll give you, let's see, 500 levies, and you're going out now. It's going to lead you. Why not you? Go do something, huh? You've got your little army. They've got 1,400 men down here. They're moving. I would like to go fight them if I can. Let's do that. I've got to stay in locations where maybe we've got the proper supply. 
That might only be Antioch. Yeah. Not too many locations over here are going to have a great supply limit. All right. Let's watch it. We could take over a few things. Going back around. I'll go back up. I could just go back up to Antioch and wait there while we take over a few locations. Oh, no. Not even my supply limit over there is developed enough. So I would need to divide up my army into two armies. All right. We'll do that once we get back into our own land. Look at how quickly they're moving. Good job. Oh, Balin died. Okay. You passed on from what? Your wounds? Yeah. He was very old. Oh, but he also began to whip himself. Not great. All right. Here's my family member. <laughs> At least you lead a few more soldiers. So that's good, I suppose. Good for you, pal. Oh, interesting. Claim title. Huh. I could do that. You're right. The Empire? I don't know if you have much of an Empire, pal. I love that he's part of my family, though. I would love to get you all of Bulgaria. Now, that would be great. Oh, you're part of our church, too. But we can't do that. I would need a lot more piety to claim all of Bulgaria. Though, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I would like that. No, I don't think they'll take it in time. Let's move back, then. We'll need to reconvene and divide up our army. I don't want to run low on supplies. Yeah, they're getting together pretty fast. And Polycarpus finally passed on. Rest well, my friend. So your son now is one of my champions. He's a master hunter. I hope he'll be okay. All right. Let's meet up now. Force speed is good. I'm going to divide up. That's still too many for most locations that we attack. But we should be able to at least neighbor their lands and pop in when we need to. I mean, we own a lot of their lands now. We're doing that. We are doing that. My poor daughter over here has the great pox. All right. Do what you can for her. Treat her. Oh, no. She's got so many kids. Holy crap. Five kids. She's just been crazy about having kids as of late. All right. Let's go fight them. Let's go reinforce two because we can. And that's going to be a big battle. What's over here? Oh, look at that. My brother. He's fighting a battle, too. Interesting. Well, good luck, brother. I think you'll do well. We'll call him in. That's one battle that we're about to finish up. The Battle of Antioch. They're falling apart. My brother lost a major fight. What a shame. I think he's okay, though. Room to roll for Anna. I need to find someone to educate her. It's going to be... Not my daughter. She's uh, not looking too good right now. Who else do we have? Let's go buy some of all skills and find someone decent. Alduin. Yeah, make her a great warrior. She's weak. Make her strong. Perfect. All right. So we're back over here. Let's go fight another battle if we can. We won one battle at Antioch. It was a slaughter. They lost 1,409. Only one survivor. My champions killed 75. Good job. Adelwyn does a great job like every time. And over here, another slaughter. <laughs> okay, same thing. Yeah, they just had reinforcements coming in, but here's another battle. The Battle of Latakia. Another slaughter. They don't have the power to stop me, but that wasn't their main army. I don't see their main army yet, which is pretty interesting to me. We'll have to watch out for them. Okay, let's see. Onagers, come on down over here. Second army, you'll be close by. That gave me, again, more piety, more prestige. We lost only 93. I've got a new perk now. Popular figurehead. Great. That was good. Now people are going to like me even more. And they already love me. How about that? Oh, you made it out, Marcus. Interesting. Well, that's good, I suppose. Yeah, he's fine. Ah, far from home. Strangers brought before me. Yeah, sure. Come on in. You've traveled far and wide. You've seen many things? Well, I don't know if that's true. I think you're lying to me. Oh my god, you're only 28? You look awful. Yeah, sure. Convert and stay. That's fine, I suppose. I'll find you someone to marry. He's got lover's pox. Hope you don't mind. Enjoy. <laughs> look, I'm just trying to meet people. I just have them meet other people. I'm trying to be social. Oh, it's over here. I've got to give away one of my locations, which is fine. I'll do that very soon. Let's focus on what we're doing currently. Homesteads are now built. 
Ah, that's what I have. Okay. I see. A new castle holding. So I've got to give it to someone new. Yeah, that's nice to have. I'm going to go find a new family member real quick before we go on. Here's a nephew of mine. You have no title. You're not in my court, though. All right, hold on here. Robert, what about you? I can't invite you to my court either. Well, you're all a bunch of punks, I think. Ah, here we go. You're a young man, just married. Here's a good title for you. Enjoy. Now he's a baron. And married to a much older woman. Oh, I'm very sorry. She's like your mom. I'm not going to question him. The sun is high above. It's noontime, isn't it? And it is rather hot outside. I've been out far a bit too long, doing whatever business I was doing. And I'm starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Uh-oh. I don't like that. A tiny penalty. I better retreat into the shade. Okay. Am I feeling fine? Good, good. I had a low chance to have issues with the sun. I'm getting old, so I can't be out in that heat all day. It's just not good for me. All right, let's take over what we can. That's one location for me. That's a start. We've got Onagers. Let's keep on attacking. If we need to move back and get more supplies, we shall. And pretty soon we shall. Yeah, look at that. They've got very low supplies. Nice. I'll try to take these two more locations and then we'll pull back and regroup. We'll need to. Jerger. Oh, over in Egypt. Okay. I was wondering who you were fighting. Interesting. I can't wait to take more of Egypt. That's my big goal is to just take over all of Egypt. My God, your father was prolific. That's a lot of siblings. Many princes over there. Then again, I've got eight kids myself. 35, 37, 34, then my new crop for my new wife. Thankfully, we're not having more kids. We don't need more kids. We've got plenty, my dear. Plenty. All right, let's see. I've got my 5,000 men close by. They're moving up. I guess we'll take one more, or actually we'll regroup over here. I've got a few supplies. I think we'll be okay. 19% as well. All right, 10,000 men total. They're embarking. Well, good luck. So who are you? You're not part of their family, are you? Doesn't matter. I'll make some nice money off of you. I could use some nice money. Let's go back over here. If they want to disembark, I'll meet them. 40 years old, huh? You may have a kiss. Only a kiss, okay? Wait, what? I said only a kiss. Anyway, I'm out riding when my horse suddenly throws itself off the path. Oh, there's a wolf here. And she kills it with a bow and arrow. Okay, come on. That's actually pretty great. She's got one child left. One died in what? Oh, cancer at 15? That's tragic. That poor woman. All right, look. We'll have one little interaction. Things happen. She saves my life, okay? Things happen. I want to meet them. Let's try to meet them in battle. Come on. Got them. Oh, my God. They have so many men. Eight champions. I've got 11 champions. Here's the battle to end all battles. The Battle of Tripoli. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be cruel and awful. We're winning, thankfully. Oh, there's my half-brother doing nothing. And I'm fighting the war all alone outside of my half-brother being here. Okay, good. He wounded one Emir. I don't want to lose any of my champions. I hope they're going to be okay. So far, they are okay. Wow. Look at that. I'm now known as a paragon of virtue because I fought another holy war. 247 devotion, 495 for fame. We lost 1,395. They lost how many? 3,538. My champions, Adawan killed 101. Wanako, my other son-in-law, 96. Our Russian champion killed 93. No kids, really. You're married to a woman who's part of my family. And I thought you two would have kids. Come on now. All right, so we did that. I guess we could keep on moving. We could follow them. I'm running low on supplies. I'll need to probably divide up later. Oh yeah, let's catch them. Great, good job. Another awesome battle. They're in bad shape. Come on, Emir, Amir bin al Botadi of Baghdad. Wait, aren't you the, yeah, you are the other one that I need to take out. I'm gonna pin him real quick. 
to find out what I can about him. But so far, the battle is going well. Oh, my Russian, my Russian champion here was wounded. He wounded that Emir again. Good job. They are destroying them. And I don't have my usual, you know, perks increasing the martial abilities of my knights. <gasps> you killed a sultan? Really? Now, that was interesting. We lost 846. They lost, let's see, 2,134. That gave me more fame, more devotion. Look at that renown just shoot up. I've got so much prestige. All right. So over here, Adelwyn 53. So you died. Oh, very cool. Who killed you? Wahab did. Good job, Wahab. Ha ha ha. Now that's a notch on your belt, my friend. Wonderful. Your wife is pregnant. Oh boy. Yeah, things happen. If it comes out, it comes out. I'll let people know. I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm honest. I did a thing that involved true love. And uh, it did escalate. What now? Oh no, a family member. He's been wounded and is currently infected. That's a shame, my friend. Your son died of natural causes at 23? I doubt that. Oh, he was stupid. Okay, well. All right. We've got to be careful. There's been a lot of people that we're only able to marry because they're in our family tree and our family tree is all over the Byzantine Empire. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to avoid family members. They're bringing in more allies. And again, we're fighting another major battle. These battles have been intense. What a wild war. It's been nonstop. Wait, what now? What's happening over here? Okay. You've gathered every single religious leader in the land together to discuss their beliefs. So now they have reformed their faith. Interesting. Where are you at? Hold on. Let me have a look. Oh, way over here. Holy crap. 15,000 men? Are you kidding me? That's incredible. He's currently 68. And I thought I was doing well. See, I'm, I'm not the only one doing well. 8,300? Sure, but 15,000 men. That's bananas. Was Francia 7,000? Alba 11,000. Our empire has 11,000. For all the work we've done, only 11,000. All right, let's go back to the major battle. We can do it. Here's a cool breeze. Feels good. I've lost a bit of stress. I had no stress to begin with, which is great. Good. You maimed another one of their leaders. They're going to lose so many of their men. It's been a savage war for them, for sure. Oh, if only I could catch them once more. That would be even better for me. I would love that. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Another battle. Yeah. My friends, you're already in trouble. He's maimed already. Good job. Bashar II, he's been wounded. We have been destroying them. Another slaughter. And one there, too. How's your army looking, by the way? You're fighting only one war. 1,600 men left. Another war lost. They've been losing wars constantly. They can't beat me. It's just not possible. All right. I'm going to split up my army. No, that's not sufficient. Hold on. Give them a few more men. Just to play it safe, okay? I want your army to move down over here to go fight them. You've got 11 champions. You'll be okay. My other army is going to unite. Much like that. They'll have a commander. It shall be me. Wait. What are you doing over here? You're actually not a bad leader either. But you're a champion. An older one, but still a champion. We caught him again. Battle Sayida. My sister died of stress at 61. That's a shame. Oh, right. You were married to Robert. That traitor. Oh, he lost so much. I think our family's doing fine now. Yeah, his line's doing fine now. Unfortunately, the father had to be punished thoroughly. All right, let's finish up our battle over here. Oh, you killed the Emir. He was hurt so often that now he's just been killed. Awesome. All right. So we're pretty much done with our war, I think. I think when it comes to their nobility, they've lost way too much. They're going to fall apart at some point. I hope. I hope. I mean, look at your family. It is not going very well at all. So you're still alive. You're ill. Okay. He's actually not a bad warrior. No, he's really not. 
All right, so we've got our soldiers here. Do we have supplies? We do have supplies over here in Beirut. We're at 99%. We're at 100 now. Let's take it. Done. Peace be with you. Well, thank you. You're very kind. All right, that was a brutal war. Polycarpus passed on. He was like my oldest champion that I had. My sons-in-law, they're doing fine. I've got more lands now. I'll have to give those away. The world is interesting, though. Nubia is doing quite well. 9,800 men. Very nice. A dollar over here, 3,900. The Abbasids are over here at 1,700 left. So if anyone comes for them, they're just going to be done for. They're going to fall apart. Khazaria, 8,400. They're stabilized. Bulgaria is just slowly losing lands, as usual. Yeah, there's a Khan in charge. He's also Orthodox. I mean, when it comes to our faith, we are spreading quite a bit. It's actually pretty great. All right, let's go after a few conversions. Done. All right, we need more control. Let's take that control. Oh, that would take seven years. Yeah, go down there and help them out by Marshall. And then that's mostly it. I think we did a pretty good job. I've been a chancellor for a very long time. My skill is 41. I bet that's helped him out so much, just having someone like me in that type of position. Let's see, my cousin is still alive. She's doing fine. Let's see, you're the queen of Great Moravia. Really? So you're a queen. That's really fascinating. Yeah, good for you. Well, okay then. Got a duke as well. Not part of my family though. Yeah, that was a great battle too. They lost a lot. Slain in battle by Nikiforos of Athens. Where are you at, my friend? Ah, here we go. 59 years old and still fighting. He beats himself and he beats other people. Not bad. Makitas. Interesting facial hair choice. All right. Time to find some people. And I might make some new titles. I haven't really decided yet. I could do that and then give it over to my children. My eldest child is currently 40. He has only one child. Really? Only one child. One daughter. That's fascinating to me. She's very intelligent. Don't get me wrong, but... That's really not what we need right now. It could be one of my younger sons who ends up being his heir. Look at that. Alexandros. He's beautiful. And he's got a great trade over here. He's pensive too. Very nice. You know, it actually might not be that bad if I were to potentially pass on now. Let me show you why. Over here, Belisarius would get his own kingdom. Look at that kingdom. It's not bad. It would be divided up into two, but that wouldn't be bad at all. Then over here, for Petros, he would gain, of course, Greece over to the west, right over there. Then we would have one more kingdom formed, right over here for Alexandros, Crete, which means I would still maintain most of my lands. That sounds pretty good to me, so we might be in pretty good shape whenever I pass on. I'm not too worried about it. Now, some other titles might be lost, like little counties, but I'll try to get them back anyway. Of course, my son is currently 40. He's ill. He could pass on now. Then my new heir would become Belisarius, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Then my playstyle would change up dramatically if he were to become our next character that we played as. So we'll see. He might recover. He might not. We're going to find out. He had only one child, a genius. He should have had more children with her. I mean, she's a genius. She's incredible. I don't know what you two are doing. All right. I did ransom off every prisoner that I had or could ransom off, and that gave me a lot of money. So now I have a lot of money and a lot more to do. Again, I'm trying to conquer what I can, and what do we have over here? I suppose I could have a party. I could go on a hunt. See, I like the idea of my other son, Belisarios, becoming my leader, largely because he's so young. If he became our ruler, I would be able to do a lot with him also, He's one elusive shadow, meaning that he would be able to really operate in the shadows much like our founder did, the Onfokas. We could get a lot more done by getting more hooks and everything else. Oh, England, you're not in great shape, are you? No, they're really not. They're in a lot of trouble right now. There's a liberty war going on. Interesting, so you're attacking. I wonder. Who's your father's father? Ah. Right over here, right over here in Kent. So we'll see in time. The Asatru, they're expanding a bit. Yeah, they're moving into Europe. They're holding on over Novgorod. 
Now, our faith, I mean, we're really pushing. Here's one area where we need to push, but Kazaria is over here, so no wonder they're expanding their own faith. And I'm slowly taking what I can. Now, if our truce was over right now, I would go after his kingdom because I finally can. Well, I would need a lot more piety, that's true. Of course, what I could do, I could attack anyway. If I did that, I would lose one level of fame, but I don't really care. That doesn't really bother me too much. That would allow me to grab a lot more land, which means another kingdom as well. What other kingdoms do you have? Right. That would be a big one. So there's really a lot that we could expand towards if we wanted to conquer some kingdoms. I just need proper piety, or again, I take that hit. I probably would take that hit, though. I think that would be a good idea. All right, what do you have? Egypt? Yeah, that would save me from having to fight so many little wars. I could just fight one big war. I like that idea. Okay, Nubia, are you holding on? Kind of. You're fighting a battle right now. A war against tyranny. He might be able to hold on. I don't know how strong they are. How strong are they? Oh, not very. Yeah, he'll be all right. He'll be okay. And elsewhere, Old Bori. Ah, Old Bori. Look at that. Religious issues over to the west. But they've got 15,000 men. They're not fighting any battles at all. Ghana is over here to the west, and they're doing fine too. The Idrisids, they don't have a lot of men. They're from that same bloodline, Said. And Iberia is just not stable. Galicia, I really need Galicia to stop. They're making the land so ugly. We need to eventually go back to Italy. So I think what might be a decent goal, again, is to conquer my kingdoms over here. Maybe like stabilize a little bit. And then go after more of Egypt. After that, we could push on to Italy and take over Rome. Going after Rome one day would be fascinating. I don't know what type of issues that would cause. I have no idea. But it could be interesting to... Of course, retake that, but that's for later on because, of course, many people of their faith would come after us. And we probably need like a good end game goal, or we just go as long as we can, and we'll see from there.